Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Bozo Podcast. I'm Seth the Dead, and here with me I have my good friends Bet Smoke and Lord Reginald Cuffbird. Hey, everybody. Yay. Excitement, energy. Good job. Yeah. Well, I mean, Steven. Sick this week. Yeah, Steven's sick. Listen so. to him. <laughs> I just sound like hell. Yeah, and you feel do. like hell. And look like hell. You are. I'm hell. Okay, so how was your guys' week? Pretty good. Well, um... Nothing to complain about. I'm sick. <laughs> that, that's about my week. Okay, what happened with me this um, this week? On Monday, I busted my head open. Oh, Jesus. And I have four staples in my head because I hit the like a low-hanging part of the ceiling. Oh. And I just... All I did was just hop up, hit my head on it, and then fall to the ground and just start bleeding. Mm-hmm. And... Oh. It was actually kind of funny to me because after I hit the ground, I was like, "I'm fine. I don't even. I don't need to hit the thing. I don't. I don't need to go to the hospital because I just hit my head." And then I see blood, and I'm like, "Uh oh." <laughs> and then, like my my sister and my mother are like, "Are you okay?" And I didn't say anything, so they're getting up, and then I'm like, "I need, think I need to go to the ER as like blood's dripping down my face." <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You're so, fucking accident prone. I know I'm not. I'm not accident prone. I just have bad luck. I just horrible luck. You just hit hit right in the right spot to do. Yeah, that, that was a sharp corner. It cut my head open. So now I've got four, now I've got four staples in my head right now. Oh, that's. I mean, if, if you guys had injuries I've sustained over the years, <laughs> not great. Um, if you've seen both um, of them uh, involving metal poles, coincidentally. Uh huh. And yeah. Where this is, I don't know where this is going. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, stripper poles. That's what I'm going now. <laughs> like I fell and I smashed my head on a metal fence once, and oh. then I fell on a playground when I was a kid and smashed my head on like the metal supports of a swing set. But I, when, I, when I'm saying, when I'm thinking, when you say smashed, I'm thinking that someone's yeah, coming up behind you while you're falling and just just guiding your head even further into the pole. Okay. Just Almost like a, like, they're just like suplexing the you one into the pole. Actually, cracked my skull a little bit. Oh wow, Great. that explains a lot. Yeah, a little bit of you leaked out. Happened at Chick Fil A. <laughs> had like a metal fence around the back. Where oh, sitting out when I was like eight. And I don't know I hit, why. I, I hit, that was and there was blood everywhere, but I was just pissed off that I wasn't getting Chick Fil A, and we had to go to the hospital instead. I yeah, I was pretty upset too because <laughs> I had to go to the ER when I had to get not ER when I had to go to the hospital to get my staples in my head, and I was like, damn it, I don't want to go to the hospital again since I just came back from the hospital like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. people are like telling me to go to the hospital. Like, you should go see a doctor. You could have some weird diseases. I'm just like, I probably have a cold. So I'm not going to the doctor. Yeah, di- unless that's... it gets even worse tomorrow, then we'll go. Like I probably have like a flu. It's like it's not nothing. If it's like worse to tomorrow, doctor. just sleep it off. Like like, hey, I'm sick. I'm gonna make everyone else sick if I come into work. Like, I, it's like stupid. Like I remember when McDonald's they called me in and I and uh, I had to go in. Man, I was so out of it. I wasn't taking meds, so I was just walking around. I was a literal zombie, like, walking around. Like, what happens, I switch out from my slippers inside my car, and I go to the uh, my work shoes in my, uh, in my trunk, and I forgot to go get them. So I'm walking in with my slippers on, and I'm just like, hey, hey, I'm a bit sick. I look down, I'm like, oh, I forgot my, I forgot my shoes. I have to go get my shoes. I'll be right back. And I swear, I was just wandering around, like, like nose dripping from, like, fluids, and I was just like, uh. Yeah, okay. it was like, freaking, like, we were out there Friday. I'm assuming you didn't end up working that day, did you? I got to work two hours until I decided that maybe I shouldn't be working. Yeah. Maybe, maybe having an infectious virus near food isn't a good idea. Nah. <laughs> we are out there in the freaking, like... Yesterday we were out in the field and there's like not a tree in sight, so the wind is just blowing out and it's like 40 degrees. Oh, that's pleasant. And it's raining. Oh and the second it started raining, like that's when my commanders started to leave. They're like, "Yeah, we're out of here." And it's like, <laughs> "You kids like, have you, fun." That's probably why you got a cold now. 
No, I was already sick then. Oh, wow. That just made it worse. Okay. That just, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was not a good idea. Yeah, there's nothing I could do. I was like, no, this Speaking sucks. of infectious diseases, did you hear about that measles outbreak at Disneyland? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. What happened? I mean, I mean, um, assuming the obvious. Well, you know, you know measles. about that, like a group of people that don't give their kids vaccinations for some reason. Like, oh yeah, the ones that are like, if they, if God wants them to heal, then oh, they will heal. Oh, those people scare me. Like, uh they, they have a bunch of excuses. Like, needles cause what's that? That mental disease represented by a puzzle piece. Pff, dementia. Kids really, um, <laughs> it starts with an A. You just start no. hallucinating the puppet jigsaw, and you just have to go through like a mental like like uh, labyrinth it's of a games. Bad disease. It's um. Alzheimer's. No, not Alzheimer's. Alt Alzheimer's uh, uh, dementia, it's a schizophrenia. For kids. You don't remember. Come on, I'm being serious here. It's a problem I, for kids. They I'm saying all real isolated. things. I don't know what they are. A puzzle uh, piece. I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, it, that's not relevant to this. It's not really like they they have things that like needles will cause autism. <laughs> that's the word. Autism. Needle. Oh. Anyway, How is that a, so a bunch piece? of these people are at Disneyland, piece. and their kids are un like don't have resistance to measles because they didn't get their injections. And someone had measles, and then it spread and infected like 67 kids at Disneyland. Jeez. So who the hell brings their kid with measles to an amusement park? That's... Well, it might mean that their body was carrying it, but if they had like their their shots and everything, like it wouldn't bother yeah, them. Yeah, maybe they were but a it bothered carrier. everyone else there. Maybe they were a carrier. Yeah, yeah that's just anyway. smallpox, right? Yeah, the measles kind of like smallpox. Yes, it's I. They're I think they're related. All right. Yeah. Wait. So, asshole. Now that we're d done with horrible diseases and physical injuries, Yay. let's get into <laughs> this. Is a video gaming podcast, everybody. <laughs> we're talking about life here, Scott. Did you forget? Okay. All right. So, bozo news. Uh, Scott's news. What do you got for us? All right. Uh, there's been a kerfuffle around <laughs> the game Evolve. Yeah, um, because devs are quoted as saying that the game was built from the ground up to accommodate DLC. Yeah, that and doesn't. They're, God they're doing it, a Destiny. lot of damage control. Not Destiny. Um, no. And I'm there's We're two camps done. split. We don't. For this we don't I'm sorry. So we don't talk about that, Stephen, anymore. Yeah, we don't talk about Destiny anymore. That is a bad. Yeah, but there's a the effect. Just, we just end up bitching about it. So it's we're gonna have a list effect. of games we don't talk about. <laughs> anyway. So, Evolve, uh, a lot of people are angry that it's like the game's just like, you're selling us a half-finished game and then are just going to throw DLC at us. That sounds familiar. And there are two camps. Uh, one camp's like, they're not going to do that. But the other camp's like, like We're Evolve, totally doing I that. first heard horde. <laughs> that, We're absolutely that, that. doing that. I first heard about it um, back in 2013, 2012, I think where advertisements were coming out to pre-order the game for DLC skins before the game was even, like, before the first screenshot for the game. Yeah, that's right. It's not even just, out yet, is it? I can no. just imagine, like, they I make all the, like... Is it out now? I'm pretty sure you can play it now. What? But back Evolve? then... Yeah. Can but you? back then, like, the first... Like, the game it wasn't even playable, and they were already trying to sell you DLC. Yeah, that's right. And then if you, um... If you look at all the pre different pre-order bonuses and all the different stuff, like the exclusive pre-orders from the different from like GameStop and you Xbox get like One extra stuff, skins and stuff, it's like a goddamn spreadsheet of like which content you get and what you don't get. And then there's the season pass. And then and there's so the season are just pass. Like, are you guys just gonna be like selling Everyone DLC? So far. Like, was this game just a built built to sell other stuff? You guys not learned your lesson. Yeah. Um, there's another game that sort of does the same thing called Payday 2. Oh, what? Oh, where yeah, there is so much Payday DLC. 2. But here's the thing. I like they Payday. had a completed game first before <laughs> they started talking about DLC. But this yeah. one, the first thing you hear about it is DLC pre-order bonuses. Hey, there's so, a new game out. Here's the DLC for it. What's the name of the game? Look at the DLC. Yeah. Go You'll find out in the DLC. You get a golden hat. Side story. You find out that your character is like an anthropomorphic lizard and the golden hat goes on his butt. What? That's the game. Anyway, That's the game. That was a nice um, picture. So, yeah. So <laughs> I don't even know what anthropomorphic means. So, so, um, do they stand here, on two here's legs? the suggestion is oh. instead of just buying all the DLC, just wait till a Game of the Year edition comes out. 
if there Even will be one. Or just not the buy the game. Of making a game, if people, if you're just forcing people to wait so that you can get all the stuff instead of half the stuff. Just that little meme it's guy's just, like, buy all the DLC. Yeah. That's why I didn't buy Borderlands 2 until all the DLC was available. Oh, yeah, same here. And then friggin'. Anyway, so I, games I shouldn't it. exist in vehicles for DLC. Um, you wanna? I'll pop over uh, now a story from Seth and then back to me. Uh, uh, my toe hurts. <laughs> Okay. No, just keep going with your thing. From words from our sponsors. No, wait for my sponsors. The Chick Fil A. Anyway, <laughs> Chick Fil A. Yes, the most Christian. Did you know they don't sell food on Sunday because they don't want to be doing on the Sabbath? You're not supposed. To, you're not supposed to get fat on good chicken on Sabbath. You're supposed to get yeah. like fat, fat on every, every other, other day. day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Weird. Oh no. Nope. Anyway, no back Chick-fil-A. to the Mario podcast. Lewis project. <laughs> anyway, aims to create a self-aware Mario. That was awesome. I've seen that. Like these Germans made like a like a really cool like voice yep. activated like Mario that like learns and speaks to yeah. himself. That's, That's really awesome. pretty so fucking great. great. That's called That's cognitive tech heresy. modeling. It is heresy. At the but... University of Tübingen. Tübingen. T U B I N G E N and the U has like those two dots over there. Oh, there'd be two two it'd be I need I need I need actually need to see the word so I could actually say it properly for you guys. <laughs> but um but yeah, okay. German. Um they've created a project called Mario Lives as an entry for an association for the advanced the advancement of artificial intelligence. Uh the, this association that. called AAAI yeah, yeah. Was holding a competition, and so they. This was their entry. Um, it's an AI that controls the game. Uh, controls Super Mario, of course. I play, I think it's Super Mario World. Looking at From some sort of hacked together version for demo purposes. Anyway, so Mario receives. Um, the only way you have input to him is you can give him vocal commands, and then the AI interprets your commands. It also learns about like the enemies and traps in the level and learns to navigate the level itself without your input. And then it like becomes self aware and kills everyone mm-hmm. by jumping on their heads. Right. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's interesting. Oh, two is And then on top of yeah, that, okay. um Mario will actually communicate with you, like a speech bubble will pop up and the AI will uh try to communicate back with you. Of like, yeah, I'm happy I killed that Goomba. Stuff like that, you know. And then Jesus, now, man, happy as it loses, <laughs> it starts communicating less happy commands as it dies more and stuff. How like stuff that, like, that. like how are you feeling, Mario? Not so good. Like, it's like you won't yeah. feel that good in the morning. Um, apparently, Mario, uh, the AI is programmed to have a driving force of curiosity and then uh, hunger for coins. And when the AI is hungry, it collects coins. So don't have change in your pocket, or it'll kill you. you gotta have yeah. that dough. <laughs> Oh yeah, mm. that's oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. There's a video on YouTube on it. Yeah, uh, that's, that's where I saw Just type in Mario it. Lives exclamation point and you can take a look. Okay, so Scott, um, I, f- I found the article for the, what I was looking for. It's the Evolve. The, the title of the article says, Evolve Director says game DLC not meant to, quote, leech money, end quote. Subtitle. I don't like people yep, thinking we're we're control. doing. Yeah, okay. I, I don't like I don't like people thinking we're doing underhanded dirty shit. Creative director Phil mm-hmm. Rob says he said shit. He did say shit, but it's yeah. He was getting mad. Yeah. Okay. Um, last summer, developer Turtle Rock Studios co-founder Chris Ashton sparked debate when he said Evolve was purposely designed for DLC, an area in which he said the game would support quote more so than any other game before end quote. Now, Evolve creative director Phil Rob has spoken in an attempt to calm concerns about the game's extensive DLC plans plans i mean rob says in an interview with destructoid that ashton's choice of words was unfortunate he explained that evolves architecture was designed in such a way to allow turtle rock to support the game long after its release the backlash over ashton's comments came from a misunderstanding of what he actually meant rob says that was hugely disheartening for me rob said i don't like people thinking we're doing underhanded dirty shit we have the game set up in such a way that we can expand upon if this is the desire he explained our plan is one we push as for as is one we pushed for as consumers. Never split the community. No pay to win. All that kind of bullshit. Yeah. That are hey, all. You right. wanted this, guys. 
Yeah. Which that, is why you're angry at us. <laughs> that are hallmarks of DLC plans specifically made to leech money out of people. Also, in the interview, Rob said he understands that some may view DLC as a way of, for developers to, quote, milk players for even more money, and acknowledges mm -hmm. that such practices may have turned some gamers off to add-on content. But ha he also hopes that gamers give Total Rock a chance to prove that they aren't trying to pull a fast one on them. If we are going to make money, we want to feel good about the way we've done it, Rob said. We don't want to feel like we've hoodwinked people. All, Vivo, all Evolved DLC maps and modes will be free, but Total Rock will sell extra characters, including the Behemoth Monster as well as the other expansive packs sometime down the road. This isn't the first time Rob has addressed Evolved's DLC plans. Just last week, Rob wrote a lengthy blog post defending the blah, 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 and the blah, 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 February 10th. So it's doing the killing floor thing. Where it's yeah. like... You can buy characters, buy weapons. I think the pro them. but I think the problem I'm having with that is don't all the characters and monsters in that game play differently? Oh yeah, they do. That's the so point. Wouldn't selling different new, selling new characters on both sides unbalance it? Um, shut up and buy our DLC. Uh, wait, wait, okay, see, but I don't. I've never played the game, so I don't know. I don't know. I've never so, played the well, game. Well, yeah, they haven't even started rolling this out yet, so we won't know yet. Yeah, um, like, like but there's... another thing, um, you probably shouldn't have a DLC plan before your game is even finished developing. I mean, it, it does It does look a little shady, and it does look a little yeah. under, you know, it does look, it looks weird. It doesn't look great. It doesn't. You know in Elder Scrolls to where they finish the game, and then they push mm -hmm. out really good DLC after the game? <laughs> If you're gonna make the point see, is finish DLC, your game. It should be an afterthought, and you shouldn't be planning from the beginning. It's an expansion it. of the game that you already have. Here, you like the main game. Here's more of it with different content mm -hmm. of the same thing. Like remember when they made World of Warcraft, and then from the very beginning they're like, "We're gonna do DLC," but no, they didn't do that. They I made World that. of Warcraft, and then made DLC packs later. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, that, that's anyway. the point. That's the point. You need to finish your game before you're making DLC. If you don't, and you think you made up a plan to DLC that's supposed to support a, I guess, a pseudo-finished game, it's not going to look great to the community. But I kind of understand where this guy is going. He's, like, giving the people what they want. There's no, like, everything's up front, obviously. Everyone knows what's going on. This Everything's all this DLC stuff that people are freaking out about. And uh, from what people have been dealing with, like that bullshit with Unity and Destiny's DLC stuff. Just, I don't know what the hell. This this is turning out to don't be a really sucky year. This is be turning out to be a really shitty year for gamers. Yeah. I don't know, like, dying It comes across to me easy. of like, they take their development budget, and then half of it goes into the game, and then they use the other part of the budget to develop DLC that they're going to sell post-launch. Yeah, like, so wait. they're going to be developing DLC while they're <coughs> developing the game. That's... Instead of it being like cool thing afterthought. Yeah, that's that's what I always thought they did. Remember like when they, video games had secret characters that you unlocked by playing the game? I remember that. Oh, yeah. I remember <laughs> that. Like Binds of Isaac. Yeah, I love that shit. Anyway. Okay. Let's move on. Move on. Your next thing, Scott. Um, okay, so uh, Elder Scrolls is officially becoming buy to play with no monthly um like, once you buy the physical discs at the store and install it, there is no subscription fee anymore. Oh, so it's this not... all fanboys everywhere. So it's not an actual, like... It's, I, I thought I thought it was going to be free-to-play, but no, it's like you pay for the... the well, the, you still... You ha still have to buy the game. Okay, okay. But there's no subscription anymore. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with I'm that. Actually, yeah. I actually might get it now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about... I just... Just a thought in my head just popped up. Hmm, I might go get that now and try, and try it. Until they, can you go to Elsewire in that game yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go. You're supposed to be able to go everywhere. Now, if only they would fix no, the fact that even... DLCs. They're selling like the countries as separate things. Wait, aren't they? Aren't they like locations for characters to start off in though? Yeah, there, I think there's like three countries available at the beginning where each of the three factions starts off with, but then everything else except for Tamriel in the center. Tamriel's the continent. Cyrodiil yeah. in the center. Is I know why you want to play. Why do you want elsewhere? Because the Khajiit. Yeah. I love the Khajiit. They're awesome. They're my favorite race. <laughs> That's because you're playing as a Khajiit right now in Skyrim. Pretty yeah. damn. <laughs> but yeah, my favorite race goes Khajiit, Orc, and then freaking 
I've read of some cool stuff about the high elves of how their their country is like a tropical island and there's like ruin ancient ruins made by crab people that are made of coral. Crab people. Oh, crab. Yeah. And jellyfish men and all sorts of weird tropical monsters that live there. Well, aren't they just a bunch of assholes? They should they go like, fuck themselves. Seriously, with their long ass pointy them. ears. So yeah, Buzz Buzz Online is now. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's still like sixty dollars oh. purchasing fee. Well, even yeah, then, purchasing like... fee, per standard game purchase. Right. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know. That sounds worth it. Like if it you does have sound. That much it's, time. it's it's an MMO of Elder Scrolls. Like yeah, that sounds pretty. What cool. I, I want to say is like all the DLC isn't out yet, so I just want to wait. If I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna wait. I heard like there was like really bad connection problem with friends. Like this game's like, hey, it's a multiplayer game, yeah. but it takes like. Then, hours to fucking connect i don't i don't know i haven't been staying up yeah same here this. i've realized when it was I, like that thing where it's like i killed that boss for one gold i was like yeah, yeah that was more it made me laugh i wonder if hey, it still is horse. i wonder anyway, if that's still a thing though that yeah. might be well, that might be still move on before this turns into a bitch of palooza okay <laughs> all right um microsoft's hololens what if you're that? on YouTube, you guys have probably seen uh, videos for this where Microsoft, there's a Microsoft headset that apparently is going to s display augmented uh, augmented reality overlay over your real life world through these glasses. Oh, that sounds that cool. Will project, um, it's basically a computer that is augmented reality and it's just... going to utilize Windows 10. So you'll have oh. your internet browser and stuff, and you just gesture with your hands in front of the uh, glasses, and you can move stuff around and interact with the digital augmented reality world. That sounds, that sounds like something that's too cool to work. And like, yeah, exactly. what, what is that, like Google Glass? <laughs> what happened to Google Glass, yeah. though? Uh, People Google laughed Glass, at it to death. They're still beta testing it, uh, and now Microsoft... Because it turns out Microsoft, this is what Microsoft is doing with their Kinect technology. Well, I, I, that's how the uh, thing's going to recognize your commands is through a uh, connect lens. So you're going to well, wait. Cool, yeah. So how is that going to work with people who are buying headsets? Hmm? How well, is that? Because like, he was like, you're going to be wearing that headset, and you're going to also be wearing that glass thing. How are you going to well, be it's wearing? A it's supposed to be like a standalone thing. Yeah, it doesn't attach to a computer. You just wear it on your head. That's I mean, it's like that's, its own little computer. Well, that's what I mean. Like if it's yeah. supposed to be how you're supposed to do with the connect. Sounds like you're we, saying it, it can connect little to, to the no Xbox information one. about it right now. Okay. It's all YouTube video of a person with that like with the uh, virtual reality headset on. He's just sitting in his room and it fast forwards three hours later and he's just still sitting in his room like with <laughs> his headset on. <laughs> Lights are turned off. I was like That's Virtual funny. Reality. <laughs> Have you guys heard about Microsoft's new um it has this initiative? Let's see, they have a specific... The Microsoft's Universal Apps Initiative, which will allow cross-play between all Microsoft machines, including Xbox uh, computers with Windows 10 and this headset thing, where all apps and applications will, should work universally on all uh, machines. It well, should I work. I find that pretty cool. But then and all that segues machines. nicely into my next thing, is apparently Windows 10 will get a, getting is going to get cross-platform streaming alongside the Xbone. Meaning that you can the use games on one thing and then watch games on another thing and vice versa. Like when when I mean by when it when it's saying cross platform, does it mean just PC to console or does it mean like to Mac to or to Linux? Yeah. Apparently all of them. They're entire they have a thing quote unquote Xbox ecosystem. Which will be available on Windows 10 PC. I'm actually looking forward phones. to this. Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of my freaking Windows 8. I'm sick and tired of Windows yeah. 8. This app thing. Not Where made for gaming. It clearly designed with a tablet. And yeah, this stupid touch screen. So I should go with Windows Vista or 7. Well, see, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that. I'm just going to have to wait for Windows 10 to come I have out. Windows Vista. It's not great. <laughs> I have Windows 7. It's perfect. Yeah, I anyway. have Windows 7. So yeah, it, it'll cross-platform work on all PCs. And That's by PCs, cool. they mean desktop computers, laptops, phones, and tablets, That's along it. with your Xbox. That sounds so really good. The thing. That sounds like something that's actually um, useful. So I'm world. actually impressed by this because normally Microsoft lately has just been copying their competitors of like the Wii. Let's make the Connect. Now they're striving to create their own like 
technology web amongst all their machines. Yeah, the, did this we talk a about? Cool idea. Yeah, I, I remember uh, one podcast I talked about how their their internet browser is supposed to uh, like replace Internet Explorer. It's gonna call it, they're gonna call it Spartan. Yeah, so Sounds they're just doing a big overhaul of awesome. their whole business model right now. This is gonna be cool. I can't wait. I'm look. I'm actually yeah. gonna look forward to it because. That's all the news news I have, and the rest oh. are games that I've been looking at. Okay, well, then, we'll, we'll get to that. So, your turn. All right, Steven, what do you have for us? Word. Uh, let me pull it up. You're just kind of like crapping on itself. Let's go, computer. Computer's like, hey, you know this file that you had saved on here? <laughs> right. I'm going to take a while um, to open it up. Okay, on a side note, I have some stuff written down. Does cool. you people know how much I like Kill a Kill? Well, it's going to be airing on Toonami on February 7th at 11.30. Cool. So if you want to check it out, go check it out. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Neat. So they have this thing. It's called the Mouse Box. Mm. It is a PC that can fit into the palm of your hand. So the mouse is literally the computer. There you go. So how does that work? It's, like, it has like it looks like a regular mouse, and your hand will go over it, and has a scroll thing in the middle. But it has all the components needed for a desktop computer inside of it. So all you need is a monitor. Yeah. And a keyboard. It no no it even has like touch pad that does do the keyboard shit. Oh wow. But uh, it has like these two USB ports on the back of it. You can plug in USB stuff to it. And it looks like a really large mouse. But, like, you can, like, use it. Like, it's pretty much a computer. That's neat. So was it, like, an experiment to create the smallest, plausible, plausibly usable computer? Well, they have a blueprint of it. I'm going to see if I can get a copy of it. How much does it cost? Uh, it's a concept. Like, oh. they have a design for it, and they've got, like, betas built. Ooh, but they don't actually have, like, a uh, actual thing of it yet. That'd be a cool thing if they mass produced them, and then they could give them out to, like... Poor people. Like, um, yeah, exactly. Like countries that don't have internet and stuff. The poor start establishing people. a ground structure for that. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Yeah, that that would be neat. Like, uh, topic, not implying anything, but people in Africa. Yeah. People in not South Africa. <laughs> people not in America. Yeah. I see. You can pull this up. This is like the concept design. This is like the beta of it. This uh, the visualization doesn't represent oh, the original. So this is going to be what's inside the mouse. Interesting. Yeah. Is, is that like the whole like body of it inside? Because it's because you can see the USBs right there. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably about the size of it. Interesting. Yeah, like you said, this is what it powered. was, but it's not the uh, original design of it. Awesome. Wow, a tell a twelve gigabyte thing. Interesting. Okay. Anything else, Stevon? Uh, you got a backup save for the other video. What? Oh yeah, um, there is a uh, RAM stick. This is the second thing I want to talk about. It's a, uh, it's the evolution of RAM. And uh, <clears throat> this, uh, this, this RAM stick has the ability. It's a brand new one. It has the uh, ability to deliver bandwidths up to like 400 gigabytes. Whoa, that's pretty good. I guess like it can work up to like four hundred gigabytes, and uh, yeah. it's freaking like retarded amounts of RAM. Like <laughs> actually store like it's this one stick has like twenty five gigabytes. I should get me one. My laptop. Guess how much RAM it has? Four gigabytes. Four. Yeah. But here's the funny part. I wonder how much mine has. The uh, yeah, it's nice estimated <laughs> cost. <laughs> Is two thousand three hundred dollars. <laughs> two hundred. Wait, two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand three hundred. And like, everyone's just like, "Yeah, this is giving. This is so amazing." Like, someone just posts, "Like, this gives me a tech boner," but then it goes away at the cost. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like, man. Yeah, it's like everyone up here is like, "Yeah, this is so cool," but I'm not paying for it. <laughs> but, yeah, that was like everything I got. Okay, um, I suppose I have no upcoming games, so you're gonna be doing that. Me. Got. So got what are upcoming games? 
All right. Now, I I have my favorite publisher ever now has become Devolver Digital because they keep having stuff that looks really interesting. Started with Hotline Miami, and then they're like Faster Than Light and freaking a bunch of other cool stuff. Gods will be watching. Got yep yep. Talos right. Principle. Freaking a whole bunch of really interesting heavy games. bullets. Hold on a second. People keep knocking on my door. Oh, someone. Hey, Seth. Yeah. Someone is uh, making a dark. You know the uh, the place called Lord Duran. Yeah, Lord and Dark Souls. Someone's created it in yeah. Minecraft. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, we should treat cool. people. No, I do this with you guys, but they're like, nope. Interrupt him. Anyway, so Devolver Digital has three games I've been looking at. One of them is called Crossing Souls, which sort of looks like a cheesy, cheesy '80s Saturday morning cartoon. Uh, here <laughs> is a link to its trailer, so you can take a look. Uh, next is a top-down survival <laughs> multiplayer horror game called Knocked. That means looks, night. That means night in German. Which looks creepy. I send that to you guys. Wait, multiplayer top down? Yep. Cool. Kind of reminds me of um, what was that in the forest or something? I don't know. Markiplier played it for a while. What is it? What is it like? Up. Darkwood or something? Darkwood. What the that's fuck it. am I watching? Crossing Souls. And then finally, we have Ronin, which is a combination of Gunpoint, Mark of the Ninja, and Kill Bill. That's the impression I got. Um, and it's a turn-based pl platformer where you can stop time and hash out your moves and the, and, the enemies will, and the enemies will load up their moves and then you have to use your ninja skills to dodge their attacks and then kill them with your sword. That sounds neat. And here's that. Ronin. Da -da -da. Oh, this top-down multiplayer actually looks pretty cool. Docked. Yeah, they have giant fucking spiders. Oh wait, never mind. That's not that's not the Nox that I thought it was. That's not how you spell that. That looks, looks neat. Cool. Yeah, like the no the the Noct or whatever. I don't know Noct. I don't know if I can say it, but like that looks really neat. Everything looks like you're being watched from a giant, like, overhead. <laughs> it just, it just, <laughs> you just see that player, he was like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That's amazing. Looks uh, like you're getting watched from, like, a UAV with IR. Yeah, yeah, okay. That looks really neat. That looks like something I would definitely play with friends. All of these games look pretty cool. Okay, so you got any more games for us? Uh, just Ronin, which I sent you a link to. Yeah. Okay. Um, if, you, if you people out there play the game Gunpoint, which is on Steam and it's awesome, you guys should play it. Um, and it looks like that. Did Devolver also make that? Yep. Cool. These are all Devolver from Devolver Digital. Looking up Gunpoint right now. So is that it for you? Yep, I'm done. What about you, Steven? You got any games that are upcoming that you're looking forward to or that are new coming? I have absolutely no games that I'm actually looking forward to, to be honest. Okay. All right, so we're going to get into the... Nope, before we get into that, uh, uh, Scott, you're still talking a little bit more. What's your, what's your mod news? Okay, my mod of the week is Steel Legion Armageddon. For Dawn of War Soulstorm and Dawn of War Black Crusade, Dark Crusade, blah, blah, blah. Whatever the third one was. Yeah, that's that was Dark Crusade. Yep. Um, and it essentially adds a new Imperial Guard faction called the Steel Legion that's based on the uh, Forge World models uh, for uh, Steel Legion. Um, and it has the same thing uh, like the Tau do, where you can split where you select an upgrade and it'll split between mechanized and infantry combat. Um, but this one does it way better, and you'll end up with two... Like, it splits it so heavily that there are two different relic units you get, which are different types of stuff on a Bane Blade chassis. Chasses? Chassis? Blah, blah, blah. That was pretty epic. Um, and it, basically, the guard... It, it, 
it blows the original Imperial Guard in the game out of the water with all sorts of like new equipment, uh, new units you can, new commander units, new abilities. Um, you can kit your standard infantry out with like flamethrowers, plasma guns, rocket launchers. Um, they can actually hold their own against Necron early game, which you know. If if you've watched our Dawn of War, we don't like the Necron. No, fuck them. Um, that damn Necron. So yeah, um, and it can be found on ModDB. I'll send a link to Seth, so I guess he can put it in the notes yeah, I will. on the YouTube. There you go. Uh, it is an awesome thing. And you get to play with Commissar Yarick. And if you know com who Commissar Yarick is in 40k, he's the biggest badass to ever be a giant badass. <laughs> That's all I got. Well, what about the compatibility for online multiplayer? Oh, yeah. It does work for multiplayer. Okay. As long as both people, both uh, all parties in the multiplayer match have the game, it should work. Okay. And it's built in with, and it, and it has the Dawn of War AI overhaul built in. So you won't have to sacrifice that if you want to play with your Steel Legion. But, Scott, what the hell is the Dawn of War AI overhaul? What? Uh, okay, Downward AI Overhaul is another mod that makes the AI less dumb. <laughs> and kick your um, ass. If you guys have played the vanilla game in a skirmish mod, you know there is a huge difference between easy AI and standard AI, where easy, they only build like three buildings and like the basic scout units and don't do anything from that. They just think they just think that uh, AI means inactivity. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that um, measures your AI. <laughs> Yeah, and then if you, you if you all know if you there, for those of you who don't know, once you go past hard AI difficulty in in the Dawn of War games, the AI doesn't actually get any smarter. They just start off with more resources than you. It's not great. So th what this mod does is actually make the make them smarter. For example, enemy units won't stand in your in your firing zone. They'll actually retreat when they need to. When morale gets broken, they'll fall back. Uh, if you if you are hitting them with artillery, they won't just stand in artillery zones and keep dying, and they'll <laughs> actually try to avoid your landmines and turret guns, like a smart player would. Oh shit! So they yeah. Have a... Um, and since I didn't know I was going to be talking about that today, I'm going to find a link for that so you get so we can get a hold of that too. Yeah. There's a. Uh, they made an announcement for a game. Um, Games Workshop is coming out with a game called Battle Fleet. Oh yeah, we the talked about them. We talked about that last podcast. Yeah, we did. Really cool. There we go. I just sent you the link for the AI mod. RTS space battles with Warhammer. Forty mm -hmm. k. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get to learn more about the Imperial Navy in that game because that's oh, it'd be so cool not to really play. Something they touch on in oh. like other. Other stuff. That'd be so yeah, cool be to fly average. the black ships, dude. That'd be so sick. If you could fly the black ships, fucking just which send... Black, which black ships? The Telepathica or the Inquisition black ships? The Inquisition Telepathica. ones. That, the, the Inquisition ones that drop exterminatus on stuff. Sick. They're like, yeah! And like the Psyker cannons. Yeah, that'd be so sick. That'd be so cool. Oh, man. Pretty oh, much get the just awesome a rocket with a Psyker warships that can blow up planets because they're freaking amazing. Or I can, or you can fly. What is it? Freaking vengeful, vengeful spirit. Like Abaddon's um, b battle barge, the vengeful spirit, and his yeah. like black legion. Oh, that'd be so sick. And we have to see all the different spaceships that the oh, different races God, That'd have. be so sick. Because we're not just look like have a bunch of really cool laser. Well, we don't even know what races we don't. Are we don't. E yeah. We start speculating. Right. Right. I'm gonna assume that they're gonna start with the core of like the main four, like orcs Marine. and orcs. Well. I Actually, Space Marine don't really have their own dedicated navy, so it would probably be Imperial Navy, Eldar, Chaos, and Orcs. It'll probably start off with that. Yeah, that's what orcs. yeah you're right, because because most of um, adept, most of the Adeptus Astartes are just shock troopers anyway. Yeah, like they they have battle barges, like cruisers, and and then an assortment of you know, small fighter craft. It's like the two main ships they have. Okay, I think Tau would be pretty good. That would be cool. I don't even know what their spaceships Cow. look like, so I only I'm only familiar with the black ships. They look like manta rays. They, they look, look like, like gigantic planet-sized uh, strikers. Uh, the freaking battle suits. Mm -hmm. 
They're just like battle suits. Yeah. Arms and <laughs> They're battle suits and they it's swim just, through it's, space. It's just Gundams. <laughs> it's just all they, yeah, they, just, they just live in a giant version of themselves. They already have Gundams, though. <laughs> it's bigger, though. Yeah, they, they're Gundams, and then they transport <laughs> troops. So there's Gundams inside Gundams. All right, let's go. Yo, dog. It's a Gundam that shoots Gundams at people. It's Gundamception. All right, is that all for you guys? Yep, that's everything. I yep. Have. Okay, now on to my gaming news. All right, so as of January 17th, physical copies of Dying Light delayed in Europe and other territories. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It got pushed back again. That's yeah. fine. No, it's certain territories. Just, but just, just, just other stuff. Yeah, I don't. I guess that's like trade laws and stuff make. Because it's coming out. It's coming out Tuesday. Stuff properly weird. Because it's coming oh, out yeah. this Tuesday. You know, GameStop. If you pre-ordered the game, you could like you get the uh, the the where you get to become the zombie and join everyone. But they just made it to where like everybody gets that ability, so oh. the pre-order was kind of worthless. Oh well. Well, okay. you get the you pre-order the game so you can get your order early. I thought that used to be the point of pre-ordering stuff. No, man, those those free cool things you get that just break the game for you. I hate well, that. Well, it hasn't no. gotten that bad yet. But oh, like that 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 join as a zombie. That's like a cool feature. That doesn't say like, why you would hide that behind a pre-order wall. Okay, there stupid. there is a game that you can actually just play. That's a part of the game that you can play as a zombie, and it's Contagion. But I'm not going to get into Contagion. I love mm, Contagion. Contagion. I put is money. That, I put is that money. A source game? Oh no. Um. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. It is. It is a, a yeah, source I, game. I think I know what game you're talking about. Seenanners played that with some people. Didn't I they? fucking love because like because I that was the only ever game I ever put into uh money into a Kickstarter and I started that and I was like oh nice. yeah. I like that that because it worked in Kickstarter because I've I've decently I put 15 aware bucks of this game. It's just it's just a multiplayer game where you're one half is zombies and the other half is people. Yeah, and, and you can you get killed by a zombie. You come back as a zombie. I wish you guys played with me. Cause this is a I fun mean, game. I didn't know you still hate it. I should get it. Uh, it's a fun game. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of different stuff too. Cause mm -hmm. it's it's really yeah, cool. And there's all sorts of weapons. Okay, we, and you we can build we can't. We're not talking. We're not talking about that. Anyway. But it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> all right. Yeah, uh, stealth mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Hatred rated adults only in North America. Hatred isn't coming to consoles unless it makes some changes. I wonder what those changes could be. Maybe public executions. Maybe. <laughs> Not massively killing like a whole bunch of people. I understand red adults only. I understand that yeah. because you're just shooting people. That's the only. That's like the people have been talking about this of like Gears of Wad. Ha, ha, Gears of Wad. Like, mm. Gears, of Gears of Wad. Of Wad. Wad has more wads <laughs> and blood in it than, any, than anything else. <laughs> so um, many But that's wads. not the point, kitties. The point is that freaking. And then it's like Grand Theft Auto, you can shoot people all the time. That's not the point. The freaking hatred incentivizes you to murder innocent civilians. And that's the point of the game. While the other stuff is that that's just you being a dick. <laughs> yeah. I think it's more along the lines You're of You're the parenting. dick. Yeah. But whatever. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's, that's a good point. Like, a lot of people, like, just don't let your children play the game. Like, hello. What, what is so yeah, wrong right. with backhanding your child? Say, play the game again. I will ground you. You will never play a video game in your life. Parents, you know that, that white box on the back of most games that has, like, a T-E-R? Or a little, like, like a little letter. Meeting? There's a reason that's there. If it means, if it's an A, it means absolutely don't let your children play that. Yeah. Hey, but you I see, guess they don't have to worry about that now because that's not going to be coming out on consoles. Hey, so. kids, you know that giant glowing thing in the sky outside? You should probably see it every now and then. <laughs> Something very blatantly obvious. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I remember I talked about this uh, last time. It yeah. Was rated adults only. And mm -hmm. I'm, uh, no, I'm not going to repeat myself. If you kids want to know what I said about that? What I've said about that, just go to the next, last podcast. Yeah, okay. number f number four, I believe we're on. I believe we're on actually. Oh no, what number five? I believe we're on actually. This is pod six, podcast number six. I forgot Eight. to mention. But okay. um, yeah, moving on. Blizzard sending some World of Warcraft vets. The statue. It's just a statue. Cool. Hmm. Let me see. World of Warcraft is a big thing. Did you hear about when they were shutting down some of the old servers? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Halo Master Chief Collection update coming in next few days. Update notes released. Good for you. 
um like you weren't here for this uh steven but uh we looked at i saw like an article for the halo beta and it says halo 5 do you know like i'm just gonna let you make a guess at the what the the subtitle for that is here we go again <laughs> no it's um there's another game that's loosely related to halo yeah it's about. okay i'm just, I'm just uh, gonna say it. it's uh the subtitle for the game is called Guardians. Oh god damn it. Yes. Yes. God it's it. Halo 5 Guardians. <laughs> Kill it. Kill it before they say. <laughs> I was I was like when I was waiting for Scott because I, I edited it out cuz Scott left during the podcast and I edited it out but like I was looking I'm around really for stuff. Laughing my ass off. <laughs> and I was like what the fuck? And did I, am I really looking at the, am I so, yeah, it says this real life. I'm not sure if that's actually just the name of the beta or if that's the actual game. If it is so, the actual game, I just like expect people in black suits to pick up a phone and just be like, they're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out. Okay, so Drive Club gets five free Japanese tracks tomorrow. Yay. Okay. Sony closes all stores in Canada. What? What? Let's see. Sony closing all stores in Canada. Sony is shutting down all stores in Canada, the company has announced. Sony confirmed the news to the CBS News, saying that it will close all its stores in the next six to eight weeks and that it will redirect all of its business through the national network of Sony retailers, its online stores, and the, quote, Sony-trained telesales team, quote, which handles sales by phone. Our network of Sony authorized retailers offer a full range of Sony products and will be supported by our in-store merchandisers and product trainers on an ongoing basis in order to ensure that our past customers have continued access to knowledgeable sales consultants who have support their ongoing Sony electronic needs. Oh, I didn't even know Sony had their own dedicated stores. Yeah, me neither. They don't have anything like that around here. Yeah, announced the news on the same day that Target announced it's shutting down all its stores in Canada as well. What? Oh, wait, what? What is going on? Target, yeah, two years and more than one billion dollars after it re uh, opened in the country. Oh, because the Target is an American thing. Target said it was quote unable to find a realistic scenario that would get can Target Canada prof profitably until at least 2021. Hmm. Just don't like the I big Target, I've ever eh? Shopped at Target. I've been there a before. Long time. They have smoothies. Yeah, but I haven't been there in a while. Remember those? Remember those smoothie or not smoothies? They have those like those slushy things. They have ices. I was I always go to Seven Eleven. I also have uh, Starbucks's in them. Yeah, I remember. I remember back in uh, when I was young, back in Virginia, I would always go to Target and be like, "Can I get a slushy? Can I get a slushy?" It was really cool. I liked it. So yeah, moving on. I guess they just don't like the foreigners trying to come in and be foreigners. Like, we're going to boycott Target. But Target isn't like a thing that... Shut up, A. Eh? It'll be easy now because they're shutting down. <laughs> yeah. Microsoft clarifies YouTube, Twitch game content usage rules. Let's look into this. Oh, that's a big thing. Microsoft has revised oh, and clarified its recently updated game content usage rules, which tells people how they may use Microsoft's games to create content, specifically YouTube videos and Twitch streams. The revision addresses some players' concerns regarding the usage rules portion, which was originally worded in such a way that made them think that they can't use Microsoft game titles to describe their own videos. Quote, the policy has been about enabling creators to use our game content, and we recognize that only if their works of content can be found. Microsoft Larry's Major Nelson, Herb said on his blog, the key here is for people to use t game titles for discovery, not misrepresent Microsoft's role in the content's creation. So I believe this is about like people comparing games to other content or or something like that. I, I'm, I'm gonna read more into it. Uh, Microsoft said that it heard players' feedback and provided the clarification with this revised clause. The short version is that it doesn't want anyone to think something was made by Microsoft when it wasn't. Oh, so yeah, that's that's what I just said. Like like so they're probably comparing another game to Microsoft. And they might say something that might make think that Microsoft is making something that's like that when it really hasn't. I know, just misrep misrepresentation. G-Skill set a new record. 
Excuse me? G skill. It's a. Uh... Is it like. Um, like, since everything is being sent through Microsoft's platform, people have become associated with they're making these games, even though they're just moving it through their thing? I. Su- uh, I... I've honestly, I've only been on Twitch once, and I, that was to watch Kraken do his uh, his community World of Warcraft thing. I remember. Honestly, that. Didn't they crash server. Oh yeah, they did. Doing that, they did. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I'm not even familiar with what's going on because this is the first I've heard about this. Whatever. Oh wow, what the hell? All right, so SimCity Build It downloaded 15 million times in three weeks. Wasn't SimCity that place that would, like, break every time? Mm-hmm. Well, the last SimCity wasn't great. Yeah. Uh, SimCity built it like EA's new mobile oh, version of the city building. Sim- Never mind. Yeah. It's a mobile game. Has been downloaded 15 million times since the first release three weeks ago. The company has announced. Good for you, EA. Ha, 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 ha. Remember that time they made a Dungeon Keeper game that was mobile? Uh... No. Okay. <laughs> Game parrying North Korea's glorious leader hacked. Kickstarter canceled. <laughs> okay, hang on. Developer doesn't think the hack is related to the group. Related the group to, is related. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is bad type. Bad. Developer doesn't think the hack is related to the group that attacked Sony Pictures. You're missing a bit of a. Of a two there. Punctuation. <laughs> yeah. Glorious Leader. That's the name of the game. A 2D mm-hmm. action game starring North Korea Supreme Leader Kim Jong Un has canceled its Kickstarter campaign. It is reevaluating reevaluating the project after the developer was hacked. Quote: The hackers destroyed data pertaining to Glorious Leader and the other projects we had in development and locked us out of our own computers and website. Wow. The timing could have been worse as it hampered our ability to attend to the Kickstarter project. And it's made by uh, Money Horse. Quite the name for a developer. So, what happened with the first amount of money? Uh, money Horse admitted that with $16,816 out of its goal of 55000 at the time of cancellation, it wasn't likely to succeed and it made mistakes in its pledges, levels, and rewards. Oh, so it it was just a scummy thing anyway. Hmm. I think I think I this just this just seems more like some guys just hopping on that bandwagon of like North Korea just throwing a, sh- a fit. Yeah, North Korea is the one that ruined everything, not us. Remember? Yeah, remember? Remember those guys? <laughs> that's what happens when you try making Sony, even though they might not have. Did you hear about that? Yeah, that's right. Apparently, it was whole... someone that was inside Sony that did the hacking. It was an inside job. (laughs) Okay. Disney Infinity claims it sold more than Skylanders last year. Activision disagrees. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Activision disagrees with that. Oh, boy. Okay. So maybe I can get... Because I can read the whole thing. Um, Disney also claimed that Disney Infinity's share in the category of those kinds of games increased from 43% to 47%. Ooh. Yes, and and it outsold the nearest competitor, Skyliners, in both total startup pack sales and total sales revenue. Activision, on the other hand, maintains that Skylanders continued to lead the Toys to Life category. Well, that's an interesting genre, Toys to Life category for the third consecutive right, question. year. Did they surpass because it was Disney and everyone loves Disney characters, or is it because it's actually a better game? I don't think that's specified. I think it's just that I think I think it's No, I'm just asking you. I well, um hang on. Uh I honestly don't know because it does look pretty awesome though. I guess I I yeah, I suppose yes. I suppose in my opinion I would definitely play Skylanders more. Oh, no, I mean, sorry, not Skylanders. Yep, I would play Disney Infinity over Skylanders cuz um maybe I, I'm the opposite of opinion. Really? Why? I don't know, Skylanders looks more like it's focused on being a game like, <laughs> first rather than just a Disney nostalgia vehicle. I, I really don't think I, it's it was more silly for me because like I've never really played those kinds of games and when I saw they had Jack Skeleton in it I was like that's true. That's awesome. And also that, that's fair. 
and also like, which one would you get first i would get i would get jack skellington like i was like he's he's a character yeah i'll play as him <laughs> or like uh because it, it was because i'm really into those kinds of games like uh what is it little big planet and yeah. like the like build your own content type things and when this game came out where you can just run around and play as your characters i'm like that's awesome I'm like that's so cool but i suppose i would play skylanders i'm changing my answer i possibly have no idea which one i would choose over the other mm -hmm. Because Skylanders actually has a story, while the other one I'm not even sure has one. Skylanders was came from the people who made Spyro, and I love Spyro, and I can't believe they haven't brought him back yet. No, he's in Skylanders. Well, I, 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 why doesn't he have his own game? That's what I'm trying to say. He's like he's um, like people's like nostalgia for Kong. Where the money is at, yo. Fuck that! I want my I want my Spyro. <laughs> You kids remember Banjo Kazooie? I remember that. Remember Conquer? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We're not gonna get into this. So yeah. So Skylanders. Whatever. I'm done. This article just got derailed, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, Twitch music has 500 songs you can use without being muted. Yay. Yay. Call of Duty announced warf uh, Advanced Warfare addresses matchmaking and reverse boosting bans. What does that mean? What are reverse People that use boosting get to get higher levels? Yeah, but what is what is reverse boosting? No one wants to lose an objective. Nah, they're reversing the ban. No, that that's what it is. It's called. Oh no, wait, no, that's like reverse boosting are both in the quote. Oh, is that a new thing people are doing now? I suppose. I'm like I'm gonna figure out what the heck that means. Okay, well, la, 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 la. yeah, Sledgehammer Studios, the guys who are making the Advanced Warfare. That, you know, do you know Advanced Warfare is a new series? That, that's a new series, Advanced Warfare. And um, Sledgehammer Game Studios head and co-founder Michael Condre, Condre has addressed players' concern regarding matchmaking issues and bans related to reverse boosting. First, I can't stress this enough. To all our host takes priority over skill in the matchmaking process. Always, no exceptions. Player connection to the host always takes priority over skill. Fast connection to m uh, most to it. Sorry, a match hosted on our global dedicated service is the most important component of our matchmaking system. Condry said that skill is taken into consideration, but to a lesser extent, and that the current matchmaking system is basically identical to what Activision had place for previous to Call of Duty games. However, players may get very different results and even connect the players in different countries depending on the time, double XP events, and other factors. Conjury also addressed the reverse of, okay, the issue of reverse boosting, referring to players who kill themselves in the game to artificially lower their stats so they can be matched with and dominate less skilled players. Are you oh, wow. kidding me? People of, wow. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wow, that is the worst, that is the scummiest I have ever heard. Like, make yourself lose so you, like, suck worse, but not really. You have all your high-tier equipment. Why, why, doesn't, and then, that just defeats the purpose of the game. No, like, it's just, uh, it's, it's pr just reverse boosting. Like, you kill yourself, you go into a game, you just kill yourself over and over and over again with, like, a kill DR, like, a kill death ratio of, like, 0 to, like, 25, or, like, higher, since you're just killing yourself. And then, and then you go, and you're like, oh, you suck. Here, you go play this with some noobs, and you just go kill them, and you just rinse and repeat. Jeez. That is just, the, that's that's stupid. That is, I've never heard of that. <laughs> I didn't even think that was possible. Like, why would people, like, want to kill themselves just so they can Ladies be... Ladies and gentlemen, the Call of Duty community. Bam, I, bam. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm going to get out of that, because I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> okay, um, yeah... Saints Row Get Out of Hell released for multiple platforms. Looks interesting. Uh, the boss. If you're not familiar, guys, the boss from Saints Row 3, or the, Saint, the Saints Rows, he get, they, they're, they're messing with some stupid Ouija board, and they got the, the boss, president of the world or whatever, got like sucked into a portal through hell, and he's forced to marry the devil's daughter. And Gat and Kinsey have to go save him. Isn't hell just the same city from before, but copy and pasted with hell stuff this time instead um, of alien stuff? I don't, I don't think so. I think everything is actually in a hellscape. 
I'm not sure. I've never played the game, so. Mm. All right. All Let's right. go. Okay, UK chart. GTA 5 holds up top amid release drought. What? Familiar faces dominate top 10 following week of no new, of no new game releases. Oh, so GTA is still selling copies. Yep. Okay, the order 1886 goes gold with pre-order bonuses revealed. Ah. <laughs> Uh, new the game NAS hasn't come out yet, but we already have like gold tier level pre-orders. So, <laughs> yep. A new NASCAR game underway for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Yay, NASCAR! Gotta go fast and then turn left and gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for uh, Firaxis. Remember Firaxis, guys? They're the guys who make uh, XCOM. Yeah. Reveals new interstellar strategy game, Sid Meier's Starships. If you're into Sid Meier's stuff, well, then it's called Starships. You're up in space, and it's turn-based. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll be better than the Sid Meier's Civilization in Space, which was literally just Civilization in Space. I know. Yeah, that, that's what everyone was going on about. Watch Dark Souls defeated in a record 49 minutes. Damn. Oops. Okay, so yeah, like the, the first Dark Souls, not Dark Souls 2, mind you. It uh, was just beaten in 49 minutes. Ridiculous. There you go. Yeah, Project Cars trailer. Project Cars trailer pushes graphical boundaries. Look at all these graphics, guys. Yeah, look how cool. So much. Look at how cool the cars look. Man dies after three day games binge. <laughs> oh, yeah, but uh, uh, was he Korean? No, he's from Taiwan. Taiwan. That was it. Yeah, I saw that earlier. I was like, I was like, <laughs> paramedics rushed wow. to Taiwan Internet Cafe after body is found slumped over death. Second such death in to occur in 2015. Already in 2015, Jesus just two Christ. people have died. Shit, I'm trying to move. Okay, a 32 year old man has been found dead in the Internet Cafe, in an Internet Cafe in Taiwan, following what is reported to be a three day gaming binge. Emergency services were called in a cafe based in Kawasing. Sorry if I'm totally mispronouncing that. After an employee discovered a discoverer was slumped over his desk, motionless. The man, known only by his surname, Hishie, H H S I E H, was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead from cardiac failure. His heart just gave out. <laughs> Police believe that Hitch that Sia likely died several hours before discovery due to how stiff his corpse had become. Man. Rigor really settled in nicely on him. <laughs> Gamers sitting at the cafe continued as if nothing happened when paramedics arrived, according to the police. We don't give a shit. <laughs> the CCTV TV footage from the internet cafe showed that Hissy had a small had a small struggle before he collapsed motionless. Oh my goodness. So he just like had an aneurysm and then just fell over dead. Holy shit. The cold oh, oh my cold timbers and exhaustion from the extensive hours playing are likely to contribute to what's his face is cardiac arrest. A police statement read. Wu added that his I uh, I don't know how to say his name at all. C or whatever, have been unemployed unemployed for a long time and internet cafes were the only place he could go to. His family said he would disappear for two or three days on end, according to the Tai Pai Times. Hisia was a regular customer who often played for consecutive days. When tired, he would sleep face down on the table or doze off slumped in his chair. That's a dedicated Jesus. guy. Yeah. The staff member was... Remember, remember kids to eat and drink properly and... I want to know what game he was playing, though. I want to know... Every once in a while. Maybe it didn't matter, but I want to know what game he died playing. <laughs> I want to know what game he died playing. If it was like, I don't know, Bitstrip Runner. Or 8 bit. Flappy I don't Bird. Know. Flappy Bird. He was playing Flappy Bird. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't make jokes about this. It's actually it's not good. I'm yeah, sorry. it's not Flappy good. Flappy Bird is a terrible game. You shouldn't make jokes about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, okay, see, but, uh, it's. I mean, that guy didn't take care of himself. That's. And he just, and he just dies. Like, yeah, death, death is tragic and stuff. What do you but, put on his tombstone? Died doing what he loved. I don't know. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, that was better than what I was gonna do. That, that that makes me because I spend a lot of time at my computer. Yeah, but I you always but, get worried about this. Oh my god, um, you're okay. Well, here I, you're you're paranoid, Scott, because you get up and go yeah. eat. And we have yeah. witnesses to I this. Mean, obviously, it's not that bad, but I know just sitting here is shortening shortening my lifespan because my body is like not doing anything. Well, uh, it's obviously not shortening your lifespan. Mm. Okay. You're still alive. Okay, so, okay, yeah, that good one. That's my logic. Good, Stephen. Good one. You tried to be smart. <laughs> I'm trying it didn't to be work. serious here, and you're like, ah. <laughs> uh. No, I, th- I think I think you're just reading into it, Scott. I think you're reading it too much, Scott. I think you're fine. I'm yeah. fine. I think I it'll just be right. get a treadmill and just put my computer on a desk next to it. Or how about you do push-ups every so often? While Austin. being on my computer. <laughs> okay. How about you just cut your legs off and roll around in a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> now you'll die even thing. quicker. <laughs> Oh, gosh. You'll have even quicker chance of dying. I mean, I'd be able to pick up a truck with my arms, but I don't think it would be worth losing my legs over. (laughs) All right. All right, so... I mean, um, then you'll be able to, like, park closer to buildings. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. I've always thought about how I can qualify. You know, technically, I'm guys, I'm actually considered handicapped because of my heart. So you could get a a handicap license. I could. You can be that asshole. Yes, I can be that asshole who, who somehow... Who was born with that disease of the heart, and just man, that asshole, that guy with that heart disease, <laughs> fuck that guy. I'm just, I'm just fucking uh, with you. <laughs> okay, so a Witcher, a Witcher MOBA apparently is existent. Mm-hmm. It's called the Witcher Battle Arena for the Android and iOS devices. It came out the 22nd. That makes me a little <laughs> bit less impressed with the game. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I've heard the Witcher is good. But yeah. I also heard it takes like 75 million hours to play one of the Witcher games. So <laughs> that is that good know. though? Apparently it is. It's like a really good low like dark fantasy type game. Hmm. Naruto okay. Um Naruto Shippuden. Shippuden. Ooh. Okay, let, let me read the title. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 will include all the <laughs> we'll include older cast from the last from the last Naruto the movie mm-hmm. that so makes what? me have a DLC so to happy add more subtitles to its title oh yeah older versions of Naruto Sasuke Sakura and Hanade will be playable guys Desu. that makes me about you as say interested that sarcastically as but that game actually looks pretty fun oh yeah dude I'm being yeah I, I, I've played that game and I love that kind of fighting game you know how much fun it is to do all that really cool ninja stuff in that game? A lot of fun. It looks good. It really I is. It. It's really fun. I'm, I'm being serious. Like I know I was just joking about it because I was actually just making more making fun of the show, not the actual game. Mm-hmm. But um, I remember that because Narutards. <laughs> I remember every other Naruto's. season in that show felt like was just filler. Oh yeah, had no consequence. Yeah, that's the point. Remember that? Remember that seri- The part where they all fought each other in an arena. Yeah, I remember oh, yeah. Did the exact same thing in a forest. That was uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was um, a season. That was a whole season just of them fighting. Yep. Yay! <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving on. Club Nintendo closing down. Loyalty program will cease by new September. Nintendo plan to reduce new reward system. Yay! Mm-hmm. Okay, so well. Rest in peace, Club Nintendo. Yep. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> and no one ever will. Okay, Sony offers 10% PS Store discount following PSN Xmas woes. Sony's still yeah. going on about that? Like, are they still, like, like freaking out about what happened? They're kind of butthurt. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they got hacked and they got all this stuff. But are they still trying to, like, please the masses? Who mm. is still upset about that? Yeah, how old is that article? Um, it's from gen- It's from four days ago. Yeah, it's it's really? activated right yeah. now. Yeah. I'm like, like who? What? What? Sony players are still upset about the whole thing that Sony had literally a little bit. They had didn't exactly have full control over the situation. I'm upset. They should give me more discounts. That's why I never. <laughs> you know, on Steam, when it says to save your credit card information, that's why yeah. I never do that because I don't want I don't want people getting hacked and then have my credit card information. <laughs> Not good. You know, you can always like press it. Like, to yeah. not do that. Yeah, that, I always do that. That's yeah, what I this, do every time. Wait, like, I don't even... I don't even know where... 
Oh, right, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm not even going to talk about that. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, that, that just irritates me. Play, uh, so people are still getting upset, and then Sony still has to, like, grovel to freaking to the masses well, about they're going to because the hacking thing was a big deal it was a big deal especially on christmas it ruined everyone's christmas sales oh like, no ah, ah. and then the freaking what's that guy kim.com had to come save christmas it was crazy <laughs> kim.com yeah what the hell is here about that the no Sony hackers what is kim.com okay. he owns mega up upload Oh. Uh, the site mega upload all right um and the hackers they were ruining christmas for everyone by hacking right and kim.com was like yo if you stop doing that i'll give you like exclusive black like accounts on my website so you can move data through my website like he gives them like 30 30 000 identities on his website oh wow which is sort of like having like going to the airport and having a box filled with 30,000 legal passports Holy so you shit. can go like everywhere yeah that's awesome um, so and like, then he, he that's, what, that's that. how lizards and then lizard squad the hacker group that's why they stopped hacking because wow. com saved christmas they were so cool as hackers and they just sold out god oh. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i think it's kind of interesting and sort of cyberpunk-esque of like yeah that we was don't pretty care neat. about money we only care about be data. able to move our digital information. We care about data. It's weird. It's crazy. <laughs> you can make a bad movie about it, starring the dude from Thor. Lizard anyway. Squad. Lizard Squad. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition PC patch revealed includes forty fixes and tweaks. <gasps> okay. Borderlands Remastered bundle coming to PS4 and Xbox One. It's called the Handsome Jack Collection. Includes the pre sequel. Borderlands 2, and all the DLC that comes with both the games. People were thinking that it was going to be in the first game. Oh, they're remastering the first game? Yeah, Hassel Jack wasn't in that first game, so shut up. So, <laughs> why do you think it's called the Handsome Jack Collection, people? Because everyone likes Handsome Jack. He's like a really good villain. I like him. He's, He's a pretty cool. good villain. Okay, Steam Broadcasting now available to all. <coughs> Mm. Platformers, oh, one yeah. million uh, users can now broadcast their gameplay to the world using new Twitch-like feature. Really? That means you can talk to your people? Hmm. I'm going to yep. look at that. Can they hear you well, talking? We were experimenting with that now, but now it's not in, be in the beta version of Steam anymore. Yeah, we might, it might actually work for you guys, so you can watch me play games. <laughs> Steam broadcasts yeah. do, however, forbid a range of content. This includes the following. Porn. Any dis any discussion? <laughs> any discussion? <laughs> any dis <laughs> any discussion of privacy? Or, or I mean, uh, any discussion of piracy? Mm. So don't even talk about you hack this thing, cheating, hacking, game exploits, threats of violence, or her harassment. Mm. Even a and even as porn. even as a joke. Okay. I'm gonna kill you, but I'm, that's just a joke, guys. I feel but, bad that the internet community has to be told to be decent human people. Be nice people, okay? Posted copyright materials such as magazine scans. What? Oh, the little things you can use to on your phone to like barcode or whatever. Soliciting, begging, auctioning, raffling, selling, advertising, referring. Racism or discrimination. Mm -hmm. Abusive language including swearing. Do not wow. Just do I not remember when I was in the fifth grade. Don't cuss guys. Okay, now this is sort of getting dumb. Yeah, so it's just like. But I guess it's it would like matter freaking... of what your viewers would report. Yeah, so I guess it would. Pretty so much make you into like a freaking Christian private school. <laughs> I guess. I guess Steam. Oh, okay, see, way the way I'm about sex. the way I'm seeing it is just this thing is for gaming. Better make it about gaming. This isn't about you making money. This isn't Twitch. This isn't a broadcast mm -hmm. thing. There's no free account. I mean, I mean, that's free account. You're, we're not paying you to, broad, to advertise anything. It's just you playing a game. Hello. Like, play the fucking game. You want to make money off it? Go get a Twitch account. Yeah, go make a friggin' yes. Twitch account. Do it that way. This is a, Even though, I don't know, Steam, I think, sort of missing an opportunity here. If they're not gonna like, because most Twitch people make their money off advertising T-shirts and stuff. 
from like Shark Robot or whatever. I know, but website. Um, but here, if if, if you th- if think think of what if Steam it, it ever just seems mean to like people that make their living off of that sort of thing. Well, if they're gonna just broadcast, I mean, I I guess I guess this is this is for people who are starting off in Twitch or before Twitch. Oh, these, this is for the people that go into YouTube comments and post get ten thousand views on the thing. Yeah. Or something like that. I mean, it's just I'm thinking that Steam doesn't want to get anywhere near that make money through broadcasting because Steam because already then has they enough. Be able to make money off of it. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Steam would have to make a profit off of that if they're providing sort of an ad revenue for watching yeah. people play games. Or creating and a, um, Steam doesn't want a to stir that. For that. Yeah, Steam doesn't want to have to just suddenly imply that hey, we're gonna make money off of you. After other people watching you play this game, yeah. that would be don't a shitstorm. Become competitors with uh, Twitch, or, or that not really designed for that, or that too. But I don't think he, they don't want their own like community turning they don't against want the them. Backlash. Yeah, they don't want people thinking that they're implying that they want to make more money out of all the money they're already making. Yeah. So, even though they probably do. Even though they probably. Which is why they specified against it. Yeah. So that's what I mean. I mean, that's what I mean. They don't want people freaking out or anything. So. Uh, it just seems weird of like you let all these like really bad green light games get on, but then you draw the line at people doing legitimate streams. I, I don't know. I think but green light it, is just, just kind of starting a joke out. Anyway. You don't know the technology. Oh, I, I, it's I an know experimental that. phase. It'll go, it'll all get hashed out later, I guess. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like this and is I gonna get, be interesting. And this whole um, thing, it's uh, based on, I guess, what the community. Because they obviously can't monitor your streams, and your the viewers would have to report it. So I guess if the, your viewers are fine with it, then you can get away with it. Either that, or if you become too powerful, and some guy just be as an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you become too powerful, I'm guessing the actual Steam moderators would have their eye on you. Oh yeah, definitely. They're pretty good. They're right. pretty good. Okay. So that's gonna be fun. I'm probably gonna be utilizing that a lot. Oh, power. Cool. Text reveals text reveals Counter Strike player bragging about match fix. Uh oh. Nailed it. Uh oh. People, Got him. all those Counter Counter Strike. Yeah. Man, this is a tangent. Uh, did they ever catch the people that were doing that swatting thing? Oh yeah, they did. They did. Awesome. I talked. Uh, I we actually didn't talk about this in the thing, but what happened? I told Steven about this, but swatting, Steven, if you remember when I told you, swatting is when you're playing online with someone, what happens is you get their information through like a rage or a conversation like, yeah, I'll come over to your house and beat you up. Give me your address. I go, yeah, I'm not scared of you. Here's my address, blah, blah, blah. So what they do is they call up the like, I don't know. Actual police. Actual police. And they say, hey, could you go and check this house out? I think there's There's a bomb there and there's terrorist activity. Usually it's an armed. There's an armed gunman in this building, so yeah. they send a SWAT team to the person's actual house or place of business. And what happens is the last time someone did this, um, the kid was like maybe fourteen, I think, 12, or twelve. Yeah. Twelve, and he well, got sentenced to twenty-five years in prison. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, twenty-five years for a twelve-year-old. I mean, and, I imagine that he's probably not going to serve that entire thing. Oh, he might. I mean, that that, that was. I gotta his, hope he might. But, but, like, the judge was like, I know you're a minor, but you're going to have to eventually learn. Mm-hmm. And so I doubt he, they're going to make him serve years. his entire sentence, but it, it, if anything's going to scare you from not wasting police SWAT team's time, it's going to jail. Good job, guy. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, glad, I'm glad someone finally got caught for that. Freaking, okay. it's ridiculous. Like, people, uh, there was a call, there was, like, a really good, um... Counter Strike players were getting SWAT teams called in. Oh yeah, like during live streams, it oh, was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, back back to what you were talking. Okay, about. Okay, so bragging about match fix, more evidence links. I buy powers infamous loss to betting scam. I like that. Is no his username? I buy power. Yeah, <laughs> infamous to betting scam that earned <laughs> the most ironic yeah name ever. It just sounds like scum. Betting uh, lost a betting scam that earned more than ten thousand dollars. Oh wow! A long suspected match fixing scandal that has plagued the Counter Strike pro player community has resurfaced following a new investigation undertaken by the Daily Dat. 
Suspicions were immediately raised in August when I, by power, a then revered and successful pro strike, pro Counter Strike team. Oh, that's a team. Oh, dang. That's so stupid. Conspiracy uh, deepens. That wow. That's a team of people. I everyone thought it was just one person. Down. I thought it was just one person who made up that stupid name, but everyone agreed to I by power. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, is that his? That might is that his person? Like. Like it's a team, and they all go by their internet handles. Oh wait, that I'm sorry. Name? I'm sorry. Yes, uh, I didn't read further into that. Raised in August when I buy power, a then revered and successful pro strike team. Yes, so that was the whole team of people. Mm. Were crushed sixteen to four when playing against a team that were believed to be easy opponents. Oh, combatants of I buy power were heard laughing as they died at key points while their use of combat knives instead of firearms were considered to a curious decision. Hmm. Wow. Bringing a knife to a gunfight. That's strange. I can understand if you're going to, like, pull this scam in some sort of conflict, but that's, like, super obvious. It's like it's like <laughs> if, if uh, Muhammad Ali like... was fighting Mike Tyson and Tyson was told to go down, and then Muhammad Ali throws a punch at him that was, like, three feet away from him, and Tyson just flops to the ground. Yeah. Like, I don't advocate scams... Oh, uh, and like, but I do, but I do. Just, I don't just to imply scams, that, <laughs> unless they're really clever, <laughs> and That's... not happening to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't do that to me, please. Uh, <laughs> a video. Oh, okay. A video of the contest of uh, the contest which took place during Sevo Pro Season Five can be seen above. Blah blah blah. It was believed that multiple bets were placed just prior to the match, which rager, with, with wagers that garnered over. More than ten thousand dollars in earnings. While the accusations had quite quietened in the months that followed, an ex-girlfriend of Derek Bourne, a pro play, a pro player, who has joined a new team with former members of I I by Power, published text messages that appear to show him confessing that the match was thrown. So he was talking to his girlfriend, no, an ex-girlfriend, I think. I don't know if it was an ex-girlfriend. Was, was she his girlfriend at the that's time? What, that's what that's what I mean. Throwing the match. Oh well, maybe I don't know, but. Apparently she posted the uh she like like screenshotted her text with him and then posted it. Damn. Yeah, so blackmail everybody. Yeah. By the way, all that drama with I buy power, he wrote, they really did throw the match, lol. Initially, as images of text messages published by the ex girlfriend Ashley LeBouf. Uh. Uh, had LeBouf had spread across Reddit. She began to face claims that she had f forged them. Oh, even, even though they have footage of them just using knives in a Counter Strike match, <laughs> like like seriously, no one put this together before. However, now? however, the Daily Dot has. I mean, they they put an investigation into it, so they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, how, yeah. How, however, <laughs> the Daily Dot had has been able to verify their authenticity after meetings with Miss LaBeouf. The text messages can be found below. BTW, all that drama with IBP. They really did throw the match, lol. And I bet them, I bet for them on alternate accounts. So, so, so hopefully these sources, this guy hasn't has doesn't lead back to me. Fuck my life. What? They intentionally <laughs> lost a match this week. Oh, but what did you do for something you lead to lead back to? Oh, but what did you do for something to lead back to you? Wait a minute. Wow. What is this? That's uh, terrible. I didn't uh, even know they were gambling <laughs> ring, gam it, not gambling rings, gambling. I didn't even know there was you could gamble on, like video games, like at all. I didn't even know that's a thing that existed. Yeah. Especially Counter Strike. Huh. As images spread across um, E S E A, a Counter Strike pro player community representative of the group confirmed on Reddit that Derek Sborn's membership had been terminated. Derek is an event manager that, that connects insider users with professional players for those types of events. Oh, Derek is an event manager that connects insider users with professional players for those types of events. Holy shit. So he was, Jesus. okay, he does not work with league division in any capacity or after reviewing things, we terminated him for his role with insider events. In a statement unto the Daily Dot, Bourne did not address the text authenticity, only claimed that he had zero interest in participating in any type of revenge mission she has going, or referring to LaBeouf. 
Uh, LaBeouf had... LaBeouf said, It was not an easy decision to incriminate her ex-boyfriend. It really pains me to do something like this to someone I care about, but I can't stand the community respects these players when they do things like this. Which is understandable, because I'd totally do that in a heartbeat. Well, good job. Good job, lady. Yeah, Yay. amateur players look up to them, and they just use th that to get away with anything they want. That is very true. It Meanwhile, Shez uh, Shazeb Khan, another XI by Power player, has confessed that he took part in the match fixing during the infamous match in August. The day of this match, I had placed a bet on I by Power. I brought up the bet while taking to pro player team manager Casey Foster. Then He then voice called me on Steam Friends and told me to change my bet. He made it very clear that the match was going to be thrown. I didn't want to get involved with any of it, but I changed my bet, as I thought would be logical at the time, while also sharing the inf this information with a friend, whom I assumed to have bet the same. A full confession, along with more evidence that connects to Bi Power, to the match make match fixing scandal, where the more than ten thousand dollars of earnings were made, can be found on the Daily Dot. Yay! Scummy people who are scum. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Like a sports movie plot. Yeah, it does. It does sound like just. Esports, man. It's esports. All right. Mm. Microsoft EXC, like Excel. What does that say? Yeah, Excel. Yep, Excel. On Xbox One sales, more work to do, but it was a good holiday. All right, Phil Spencer. We're moving. <laughs> moving on. 1080p State of Decay Xbox One release date. More screenshots revealed. OMG. Moving on. Classic Star Wars games now available on GOG.com. Yeah. If you guys want to play, friends and stuff are on good old games. If you want to play Star Wars X-wing versus Tie Fighter, Star Wars X-wing Alliance, and more, now available on the DRM free digital distribution platform. Go GOG, play that. I like GOG. They're pretty good. Okay. I got all the uh, I got the first Dungeon Keeper and all the Fallout game original Fallout games on there for free. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. World War One Vampire RPG revealed. It's called Vam Vampire, I think. Let's look at it. The next title from Remember Me and Life is Strange developer Don't Nod Entertainment. I, th I, was, I honestly thought I was about to read someone's name, but it's, it just says Don't without the apostrophe and then Nod. Don't Nod. Entertainment is a vampire role-playing game set after World War One. The game called Vampire with a Y has was announced Tuesday during the reveal attended by the Six Axis. It was it will be published by Focus Home Inter Interactive. Hmm. The Y in the spelling of vampire reportedly relates to the moral choices the doctor must make. As a doctor, he wants to heal people, but his vampire makes him want to kill and feed. The game's tagline is "Take blood, save a life." Oh, he plays a, a vampire doctor. Could be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Four hundred dollars. Borderlands Xbox One slash PS4 bundle comes with remote control claptrap. Cool. Hey. Oh, nice claptrap. Now he can annoy you in the game and in real life. Just throw him in the corner. <laughs> I He's bet you. Target practice. <laughs> I bet you there. The instant when someone buys it, they would just just break him immediately. <laughs> I would buy it just to shoot it. <laughs> uh, watch 14 minutes of Axe Saints Row game. Oh, Money Shot Saints Row Money Shot. Apparently that used to be a game, or was going to be a game. Saints Row is a piece of shit. <laughs> <But> <laughs> PlayStation yeah. superhero TV show Powers release date revealed. <clears throat> Alright. Sid Meier's Starship's going beyond Beyond Earth. Remember that? Yeah, we were just talking about that. Beyond Earth, that civilization in space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to go beyond Earth. So you go beyond Earth. So <laughs> beyond Earth. If that's if yeah. that's not obvious, then I don't so is that like a mining game? <laughs> it's it's just a like what kind of genre is that? It's 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 you know how you build up your strategy. Yeah, it's a strategy, but you know how you build up your base in Dawn of War and uh, stuff like that. Except except it's like a larger skill and you're like attending to a masses of people like in a, a civilization. civilization game. Like but a civilization. Like the last sci fi civilization game, you actually fly around in space this time. 
and yeah. go to different places? I'm assuming yes. Civilization in space. <laughs> Watch. Hearthstone streamer stunned by pro player's unbelievable luck. Oh. Mm. Apparently Sneed's old... Like what is this? Sneed's old shredder card summons three Kel'Thuzards in a row. Odds of happening are 1 in 238,000. I have no idea what a Celtic is that are. Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Ole. Uncharted 4 will expand the sandbox. Because that was that's what it was missing. <laughs> a Battlefield, 4, uh, Battlefield Hardline to be released early on Xbox One via EA Access. Fuck you, EA. X <laughs> Call of Duty devs breakout game. Human element on hiatus. Okay. Resident Evil HD Review Roundup. Here's what the critics are saying about the latest remastered version of 1996 classic horror game. It's the same it, game again. It looks good. Like the same <laughs> one, but it's got... Why is it like 80% of this news is for games that don't even exist yet? Yeah. It's like... That's what I said like, last why, why time. Why even write about it? That's what I, I said. That's why last, last podcast I was like, man, there's nothing going on. There is absolutely nothing going on. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. All right, Heroes of the Storm beta giveaway. Remember we talked about them? The Blizzard MOBA. Yeah. Yeah, so now there's a beta code that you can get. And there for a chance to receive a code for access to the Heroes of the Storm beta. You get to play as the Lich King, which would be pretty neat. I'd probably play as him. The Scourge. All right. Uh, da 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 Smash Bros. <coughs> Tournament organizer drops out after sexual harassment claims. God damn, what the hell are these people doing in their tournaments just doing random horrible They're shit to each other? Smashing bros. <laughs> smashing more than bros. Apex 200, uh, 2015 went event to move forward following allegations of sexual harassment against the tournament's organizer. Okay. The crew, yeah, the crew's first DLC out now. Yeah. Like cars, 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 cars. PlayStation cars. Now review. Wait, PlayStation Now review allows you to stream PlayStation 3 games directly to your PS4. It's almost as good as the real deal. Except you have to pay for it by month. Yeah. Free? Uh, you want free internet? Play the PS3. Just PS3, guys. Come on. See, ah, I like the PlayStation 4. I know, but it's it's good. But you don't get have free internet and also there's not package compatibility so i'm going to keep my ps3 to the end of time see call of duty advanced warfare's new exo zombies in action cool so zombies in exosuits yep that sounds <laughs> stupid it does i mean i guess it would make sense if the zombie if the guy who got bit by the zombie was in an exosuit but how the yeah, hell but now every zombie's how do zombies know how to yeah exactly but how the hell would a zombie know how to use the exosuit he'd just be walking at you like mm. Mm. Yeah, they wouldn't do that. These are Nazis. No, they're not actually. Nazi zombies is not even a thing anymore. Nazis are Nazis are yesterday's <laughs> news. Nazi man. zombies are so last year. It's all about robot zombies now. <laughs> Heroes of the Storm Founders Pack announced. <laughs> oh my God! There's a Founders Pack now. Who would have thought? Yeah, the players who purchase the Founders Pack immediately get into the closed beta. So, so um, remember, remember that win. remember that beta code I said you can go get. It's closed now. Beta win. <laughs> Evo 2015 game lineup announced. Blah blah blah. You're paying us money so you can become an unpaid beta tester. Yeah. Wee. Clever iPhone patent transforms home button to analog stick. Huh. Remember that little i. Remember on your iPhone, you have that little button that you press to go to your uh. To let you just—it's that—it's that just that one button on the front of the yeah. of the iPhone that can be apparently used to. Uh, I guess it as a, like an analog stick, like a little touch thing. You just move your finger around it and it moves like that. Interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a cool patent. Okay. Uh, da, 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 theme hospital. Theme hospital is EA's next free game. Red Origin users can own Bullfrog's iconic management sim at no cost. Oh. So you just run a hospital. Or you can just buy it on good old games. Yeah. Server woes worsen following H1Z1's disaster launch. 
Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just <laughs> going to talk about this. So what happened is, like on the on the launch of that game, Twitch users were like, "Yeah, this game is going to be great." Twenty minutes of most of, or maybe like like an hour worth of most people's streams of the of the launch were just them trying to get the game to work. So all these Twitch users just just were like screwed over yep. because they were trying to get the game to work. And because the servers were screwing up, people were teleporting Not everywhere. Not proper servers, that's going to look good in your game. Oh, yeah. Mm. Especially right at the launch when you need your money. But it's okay. All those microtransactions and teleporting guns into your inventory will make up for it. Oh, yeah. So here, let me, let me, let me get further into that. Apparently, oh, you're going to love this. The, um, the drops, that, the airdrops that you can get that cost your actual money, it is random what you get. Oh. But when I say random, I mean you could end up with anything. Meaning you can end up with a pair of shorts, a gun, another pair of shorts, wow. a shirt. Way, way to make my money feel worthless. How much are these airdrops? <laughs> like five bucks. Or fifteen uh, bucks or something. That's like more than a freaking palette swap pack for Skullgirls. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Like, like the whole thing is, is like I paid for it. Why can't you just give it to me? What the fuck is this about you just trying to bullshit me? Like, just yeah. give me what I want. I paid for it with my money. That's... Maybe they shouldn't be get, having a system like that in a survival game. Yeah. Like in Minecraft, if you could play Hope for, I get pay for an good. airdrop that might have diamond equipment inside. Yeah, that, that that that's exactly that is exactly. Someone actually used that exact same analogy of the, of what I was watching or reading of the um, of the issue. So, uh, H1Z1 is breaking my little heart even more. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. We were so hyped about it. I was so we were talking about it in, like, Podcast 3, I think. Yeah, I was we so, so looking. I was like, I'm so looking. It's a game that's better than DayZ. And I was like, eat a dick, Philip. I, I, I remember exactly what I said. I'm like, it has Sony money behind it. And they might. And so it's probably going to get finished, unlike DayZ. Yeah. And, but like, DayZ is looking pretty good. Yeah, but DayZ's, like, it's it's still going to be free. This game's. This H1Z one's still going to be free on launch. It's still going to be free it's on true. launch. So. <sighs> God damn it. All right. Whatever. Why Let's don't they move just on. make it like a clothes thing of like your survivor will start out in the clothes you buy and it's all aesthetic. That'd be cool. Or have character customizations of like you can get crazy blue hair or something <laughs> instead of paying for in-game equipment and stuff that's already in-game. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. That you may or may not get what you want. So wait, you want... It's like you have to pay real money to use the Call of Duty Nazi Zombies random magic box, mystery box. Oh, that would suck. Oh, that would so suck. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Play Battlefield 4 this week to unlock hardline multiplayer. Doesn't even pertain to this because it's already passed. Mm. Yay. I guess uh, we're done. <laughs> no, there's still a lot more stuff for me to talk about. Because this, this, I, I, this is the whole week. I'm just going to skip stupid stuff. Let's see. Uh, PS4, PS Store discount code cannot be used on pre-orders. Hmm. Yeah, like, remember, remember that discount code we were talking about for 10% off because of that nonsense that happened during the Christmas? People were like, "Hey, I can use this on pre-orders." Nope, it's for games that already exist in the uh, the store. That's fine, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. Alien Isolation sells one million copies. Oh wait, no, sells one million, as the uh, title of the article says. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> Alien Isolation sells one million. No good. One million good like. Game. Yeah, said blah blah blah. Sid Meier opens up a new team structure. Lots more. <laughs> Windows 10 free upgrade offer revealed. All Windows 7 and Windows 8 users can upgrade to the new operating system during its first year for free. I can't wait. Uh, hear that, Steven? I can't well, wait. You can upgrade to Windows 10 for free within the first year of Windows 10 being out. I can't wait. Oh, that's... Sounds like something. I'm just going to wait to the last minute to download to see what other people think about it. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that too. Okay, moving on. We're almost there. 
Watch the first trailer for Dead Rising movie, Watchtower. See comedian Rob Riggle as Frank West. Remember Rob Riggle? Do you guys know who that is? You know, sort of. Uh, Does he have, like, a face that looks like a jujube? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> what the fuck is a jujube? It's little candies. They're like... Uh. I don't okay I, I i i yes fine if you want whatever <laughs> he is whatever you want him to be Scott. <laughs> rob riggles that dude from 21 jump street who got his dick shot off oh yeah 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 that's that, him that's yeah, right uh, remember remember him that's him uh -huh, dicks okay. <laughs> telltales games of thrones episode two coming early february i've been hearing really good things about the telltales games of thrones thing apparently it's really good mm. Yeah. Do you have to actually know about Game of Thrones to play it? Um, well, actually, you probably should go in after seeing Game of Thrones because you don't want the stuff to get spoiled by the game. I think I think it's a lot of like implied to what's happening in the story. To I mean, what's happening in the um show. But I, I think it's it's like an opposite. Because I know you actually interact with with people players. The show. You do, but if you've never seen the show, you won't know who they are. Yeah. But what? If, but if they reference stuff like important things, yeah. Like, the red wedding. Yeah, they um, do that. They talk about the purple wedding and the red yeah, wedding so and stuff. If you if you're not familiar with Game you of Thrones, won't know you what it probably is. Probably go read the book or watch the. Oh, show yeah, it, first. it won't it won't actually spoil anything. You just won't know about it. So yeah, and you won't and I, I, I guess I guess help. it'll be out of context, you know, for you because you're doing you're doing it in an opposite kind of thing. <coughs> oh my God! League of Legends 2015 championship to be held in Europe. Too bad there's gonna be a murder is gonna take place. And all that controversy about like pedophilism. I don't. I don't know. Every like tournament we seem to look at seems to like cause some kind of problem with someone. This one was hacked. This one was rigged. Man, it's almost like people are stupid assholes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> stupid assholes. <laughs> Lady Gaga's talent agency buys esports company. Should I give a fuck? Right, moving on. No, <laughs> I wait. No, let's let's actually look into that. Oh God. Okay. W M E. IMG, whatever the International Entertainment and Sports Talent Agency, who clients include oh, Lady Gaga, Tom so, Petty, Peyton Manning, so Lady and Gaga Vegas. just happens to be a client. Yeah, and they just put that in the article title. No, for yeah, Lady Gaga's talent agency. Like she doesn't own it. She it is the debt, so you look at it like we just did. Okay, let's just move on. Fuck them. Don't yeah, even, don't even give them. The By becoming a part of all her. All right, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare earn double XP and try a new playlist this weekend. Yeah, guys. Reverse boosting. <laughs> Remember that? That's a thing. That's a thing oh now. I, I I literally felt sick to my stomach when you said that. That's a thing now. People just... Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. Just what? remind... I mean, what? Shut up, Scott. The reverse yeah, boosting thing. Oh, my God. I have no idea what the hell that is. So. Wait, wait, we were talking we, about it a minute ago. We were just talking about that. Oh, oh well. well. Buy Advanced Warfare's Havoc DLC at GameStop. Get this poster. That's the <laughs> DLC. <laughs> or just wait till the Game of the Year edition. Uh, and then you get the same anyway, poster for wait. after Moving on. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to bitch about that anymore. Yeah, Shadow of Mordor dev made some pretty big and painful cuts. Designer says Monolith was overly ambitious on the onset of development and later needed to cut some features. Okay. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard the freaking entire game was going to be completely different than what they ended up with. Like it was going to have like crossover with like the events from the movies and stuff, and it was going to be like completely different than what was going on. Yeah. But then they ended up like when most games completely change direction, like these days anyway, the game hey. ends up crashing and burning. But you should say they, that these that didn't happen. So these games good, need good to be going. <laughs> These they managed to keep it awesome. No, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> World of Warships, Wings Over the Water beta weekend. We should tell Philip. He would be, like, I don't know, jizzing himself, I suppose. Is it related to uh, his favorite game ever? What's it uh, called? No, it's, it's, like, it's, it's made by the people who make World of Tanks. But he plays that game, too. Yeah, a mysterious. Can't wait till they just like make a comprehensive military game that just That'd has everything in it. What you mean, yeah, Battlefield? 
<laughs> you mean like Battlefield? Well, Battlefield, but on a huge maps, like huge War Thunder sized maps, complete oh, yeah, with yeah. aerial combat and everything. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, that's what they're trying to do with War Thunder because it's supposed to have like uh, uh, aerial, I mean, they, I know nautical, they have tanks now and, and land based. But they, I mean, they're gonna have nautical stuff too. So they're gonna have planes flying in the air, people on ships now shooting they the need ship. Is infantry combat. Yeah, that'd be fun. Complete. They don't even have to let you play as the infantry. Just have them like do like a MOBA style thing where infantry have to you have to help infantry capture points and stuff. Or maybe maybe it's like um like third person shooter. Yeah. Actually now I'm thinking about that. Like every time an infantry like tank guys help the infantry move up. When you capture a point, your airfield moves up with them. So then the airplanes get closer and closer to the enemy's base. That'd be pretty sort sweet. of like a football style thing where you need to get to the other side of the field. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Football. Anyway, enough with my imaginary and nary game. That, that... <laughs> All right. As you can <laughs> see, this this podcast is kind of just dying <laughs> right yeah. now. Destiny int- and Destiny introduces new game mode. Let's go look at it. Destiny is Destiny. Don't Tradi- give a fuck about Destiny. Traditional two D two two v two multiplayer mode offers streamlined gunplay. Oh my god. Double sk- you can get one sh- killed by a team of two people. Double of like skirmish. Competitive multiplayer. New monarchy seeks those capable of reclaiming the frontier one battle at a time. Small tacti- team tacticals. Kill the enemy. Revive teammates. 2v2 deathmatch. Fire team. 1-2. to two. Level advantages. Disabled. Oh. Level advantages. Disabled. PlayStation Plus. So then why required. Is it Destiny then? <laughs> uh, All that leveling up was pointless. Yeah. Too bad. That's why RPG elements in a in a freaking it's that's it's just weird. RPG elements in a in Halo would never work, and yet they're trying to do that. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Alright. Dying light zombie mode goes free. But Woo-hoo. big delay for yeah, UK release. That. League of Legends devs creating Europe wide network. Go them. Now you can tell other people to screw off and uninstall a fag all mm-hmm. across the the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rarest to the P, rarest PS4 on the planet now up for auction. Bidding has already exceeded $11,500 for the first 20th anniversary PS4 ever made. What? Super rare. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> New graphics card not essential for Direct X12. Okay. So it'll work with full graphics cards. That's good. Game of the Year nominees revealed for SXSW Gaming Awards. Oh, right. Uh, watch. Life is Strange Devs talks time travel butterfly effect in video. What? Just these article titles are the most ridiculous ever. <laughs> Watch. Life is Strange Dev talks time travel butterfly effect in new video. <laughs> time travel butterfly. <laughs> Wii's punch out comes to Wii U in New New America. New America? North America. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> new America. New America. God damn it. I'm getting irritated by what the fuck I'm reading, as you can tell. And I'm getting, like... Uh, new, uh, yeah, new 3DS XO review with so many improvements made to 3DS formula. New Nintendo's it's new 3DS and it's bigger. Maybe its best handle held yet. Yay! Final Fantasy Type O, Type Zero. Wait, Type O, Type Zero. I don't know. Shows life is precious through a grim, bloody war. Cause dying sucks. Remember, Li- lost in limbo. Isn't, isn't What's Final Fantasy? <laughs> This is Final Fantasy. This is Final Fantasy. Isn't that the game where in the Lightning, like the last game, you played as like Jesus? Yeah, and pretty had much. To go save the souls of everyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She has pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> Lost in Limbo. What's happening with these hyped games? A quick look at handful games that have gone silent since being announced. Uh, because Watch Dogs is a piece of shit, and we don't care about that yeah. crap anymore. So. Why Probably bring it because up? Because you guys, they're only hyped because you journalist people are the ones hyping them. So yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Mortal Kombat X dev teases character reveal. Next week should be fun. 
All right. Mm. D uh, Day Z sales reach three million. Why? <laughs> Open world PC zombie game reaches it's another sales. Is what yeah, the? F dun, dun, okay, dun, dun. I'm gonna look into this. Maybe you might talk about how stupid it is. We would like to thank every single one of the three did. million players that joined us on the journey of making Daisy Project Lead David Duke. He's talking about it like it's over. Durkak, you have all helped make Daisy the best open world survival survival game. This is the best because I, I don't. <laughs> this is an amazing achievement, and we've already looking forward to start sharing with all of your game design improvements, anti hack solutions, and we other optimizations loop, guys. we have been making on for a majority of the last year. Look, toilet paper. <laughs> now you can wipe our own asses for us. <laughs> Thanks, it's made of guys. Money. That's just Your a waste, money. though. <laughs> but that's a waste, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, that game, ever, that game's never gonna be finished. It might never. not. Seriously, it might dude. not. Who's behind Call of Duty's kill cam? We finally know. It was me. It was. Time. It was you. It was yep. that gerbil in the corner. <laughs> I'm have assuming you, it was a programmer that was like, here's a cool thing. Have you ever wondered who's behind Call of Duty's kill cams? No. The mystery has now been solved. Dun, dun, dun. It was a guy named Randall Higgins. At least oh, that's cool. what Activision is saying. Cool As a part of the funny Call of Duty Advanced Warfare trailer released today, here's the, he's the official kill cameraman for the series. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Randall Higgins. Real question. Why should I give a fuck? Uh, because the Activision tells you you should. So there you go. Gaming deals get the evil within for twenty bucks and more. That was a pretty good game. Yeah, I have the game for the PS3. Not bad. I can't wait to play it. Xbox boss wants gamers to be proud that Windows is a Microsoft product. What? <laughs> <laughs> Be proud, guys. People that ha that play on an Xbox care. What? Xbox boss wants gamers to be proud that Windows is a Microsoft product. It, All right. It is. I get, I get Good job. I don't. <laughs> you got me. I'm not even going to bother with that. 10%. Hey guys, did you know Windows is a product from Microsoft? Yeah. Well, be happy about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy someone's giving me something that re resembles Microsoft. The uh, Windows. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, Thanks for making this product that I use all the time. I suppose. 10% off PSN discount now available. What are we just talking about? What? What will you buy? Uh, maybe. Nothing, because I don't own Sony anything. You suck. Weekly recap. Windows holographic reveal. Shut up. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Talk about that. Yeah, Ollie, Ollie for, th for $3 and much more on PlayStation Flash uh, Sale. Oh, cares? look at that. This came off... Uh... Ollie, 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 get your adverbs. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, check out uh, 2015's best student games, according to IGF. Independent, so they're really oh, good. something that is actually interesting. Yeah, there we go. Here's the eight winners for of the student showcase. Independent Games Festival organizers announced the winners of the ninth annual student showcase highlighting the eight best student produced games of 2014. Past winners have included. I want to look at now the new ones. Okay, student showcase winners of 2015 Independent Games Festival. A. Dot part. Dot mint. What? Apartment. Apartment, but it's not put together. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's well, that's the game. Oh, Down Well, by Ujiro Fumoto, Fumoto, Tokyo University of the Arts. Close your, goodbye world games. <laughs> University of Southern California. Even the stars. Paul, Paul Clarissero, Supinfo game and Nicholas Gavin, Gavan. His University of Bialystok. Gemini, Echo Stone Games. Interloper, Monogon Games, Rooftop Cop, Stephen Lawson, <laughs> Lawrence Clark. Whenever says, anyone says some, like a word with cop at the end, I just <laughs> imagine Samurai Cop. Like, <laughs> Stellar Smooch. A game called <laughs> Stellar Smooch. Alec Thompson and Jenny Jiaosia. Honorable Mentions, a story about my uncle. Remember that game? That was a weird one. Yeah. 
Ahuj. It. it looks fun. Circles, Drew and the Floating Labyrinth. Lisa, Mecha Trigger. So Lisa. those. I know that game. That's the painful. It's Lisa the Painful RPG. Apparently, horrible things happen to you in it. Oh, really? Yep. Oh. Don't know much beyond that, though. Okay, we're almost done. And then I'm going to talk about what happens with my channel. Guild Wars 2, first expansion, Heart of Thrones announced. Jeez, how long has been? How long has Guild War 2's been out? Wait, they're just getting a free expansion now? First expansion, Hearts of Thrones announced. I'm going to look at this. I heard Guild Wars 2 is a pretty good MMO. Okay, developer announced Heart of, Thron Heart of Thorns, the first expansion pack for the MMO. Oh, yeah, it's an MMO. Right. <sighs> the expansion will set players explore the heart of Maguma in a brand new jungle area. The heart of Maguma is made up of three distinct biomes. An area, an arena net says it's one of the largest areas it ever built. So this is a good example of a game that has already finished its game and is making DLC after. And it's been, I don't know how long. It's been a really long time. Okay, Wasteland, Hopefully, yeah. They yeah. make money off of it, because I heard Guild Wars 2, not bad. Yeah. Wasteland 2 dev announces Bart Tale sequel. Anyone played Bart's Tale? Uh, I have Bart's Tale. They gave that out to people that bought Wasteland 2. Yeah, I have that. <laughs> I have that game, too. Apparently, there's a sequel to it. Wait, he's going to make a sequel? Yeah. I don't know. Is, I guess Bart, is that like Wasteland 2, but in medieval times? I have no idea. I've never played I don't it. Know. We'll, get, we'll, we'll get back to you on this, but probably not, though. <laughs> Quantic Dreams Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered Leak Report. <laughs> it's a report on that thing I just said. That's the game where you kung fu fight a helicopter. <laughs> What? Fantastic. Yeah, Indigo Prophecy. <laughs> Fan fucking tastic. Star Citizen passes 70 million. It's that first person civilian sim. It's on it was on kick it's on Kickstarter and it passed 70 million dollars. Really? Yeah. Okay, Xbox 10. Oh wait, no. Windows 10 Xbox app now available to testers. Join Windows Insider program to test the Xbox app on Windows 10. All right, and that is yeah, it for that what ties into what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, devs. All the integrated framework from Microsoft. Yes. Hopefully, it pays off. Oh my gosh! All right, so yep, that is all I have to talk about. For it is that is with the um, channel news, oh, not channel uh, gaming news. News in general. News in general, pretty much. So on to, so news so right before right before we sign off I'm going to talk about what what's going on with the channel that I'm thinking about um, for Seth the Dead's channel me uh, <laughs> I am almost done I'm actually one episode one mission away from from finishing the Call of Duty game my World at War veteran hardest difficulty playthrough um, just one more mission away from finishing it. And good luck with that. Yeah, yeah fun with that. <laughs> and I'm planning on after I'm done with that, probably going to be going on to the first Dead Space game with the hardest difficulty. And I Huzzah. and I gotta say because the only re the only reason why I say that is because to actually unlock the hardest difficulty, you need to actually beat the game once. On any difficulty, and then it unlocks the most hardest difficulty you can actually play. So I had to play the game once through first on hard, or I, I decided to do hard anyway. Gotta say that was pretty difficult for me. And then now I'm gonna be playing on even the most hardest difficulty, even after that. And other news: I'm planning on doing a uh, Warhammer 40k lore playthrough. When I'm when I say about that, I'm meaning I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be having videos dedicated to showing off the lore of of Warhammer 40k. So I'm gonna be like a Vaults of Terra. Pretty thing. much. Interesting. Except there's gonna be I don't know I guess compared to the Vaults of Terra I'm gonna be I mean there's gonna be I'm gonna try my best to do a lot of detail like them except there's gonna be more videos out. Yeah. Like there's gonna be more coming out. 
That's that's essentially what I'm saying. And I'm probably going to be using Dawn of War as sort of like a background. Like, here's what this guy looks like. Here's what this guy. Let's like I'm going to be discussing a lot of things about like the physiology of like the orc bodies and how chaos are made and stuff like that. Like I'm going to get into some really obscure stuff that shouldn't matter. And the whole like, point the of this. The problem I had with Vaults of Terra is they're basically just, they don't use their background images. It, it, it It's just a slideshow in the background. They don't mm -hmm. actually show you stuff. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using the 3D models of like Dawn of War's army army painter, and I'm gonna be like. So you'll just be utilizing stuff when you can. Yeah. To show stuff off. And I might even do like the campaign mode of the first Dawn of War game of the year edition, like awesome. while while I'm doing it. So and like this whole reason is because I want people to actually get into Warhammer because I, I may be people who aren't familiar with Warhammer and they've seen us play the Dawn of War games before and they don't know what the hell it is. Mm -hmm. and maybe get people to into it because the only reason why I'm into it is because I played um, Dawn of War. That was my yeah. first implication of Warhammer. Yeah. And now we're playing the freaking Fantasy Flight Games RPGs. And all yeah, that. so so I'm really into okay, Warhammer so. and I'm thinking about doing that. And if anyone's noticed, I've been playing a, like, a little bit more indie games. I guess because I got a bit of an indie game bug. And I'm going to be planning on playing a lot more indie games. Scott, you are a good provider of that. And I know you even have more games than what I've, than you've, what you've offered. I do. So. I track down this stuff. Yeah, and I think I might have, I don't remember, but I think I might have mentioned this in the last podcast at the end of it when you left, Scott, when I did my thing by myself. But uh, I'm going to be using my face cam, like, a little bit more uh, liberally. So, or conservatively, what does that mean? I don't know. Liberally. But, uh, more often. There you no. Go. Okay, no. No, I'm not going to be using it more often. That's what I'm trying to more say. Often. Opposite? Yeah, the opposite. So conservatively. What I'm, yeah, conservative. That, that's okay. Okay. So what I'm kind of going to be using like face cams only for really big games, like really like long story mode games, like Resident Evil, like not Resident Evil, like Red Dead Redemption. Or if I really did play a Resident Evil game, I'm, I would use a face cam. But games that are like one-offs or games that wouldn't really get a good reaction out of me or games that aren't horror games, because I'm going to be using face cams on horror games and large story-based games. Because I think it's more distracting if I play a game that I have never played before and I don't even know what's going on, so I can't really concentrate on looking at the camera. I'm trying to concentrate what's going on in front of me. Yeah. So before I get used to like looking at a camera or just being watched, then maybe. But for right now, I'm not going to be using the face cam all the time. And that is essentially it, guys. So do any of you guys have anything to bring up? Mm. Uh, I already said kill the kill. Coming yeah. to Tanami, February seventh. Yeah, kill the kill. It's gonna be English uh, dub, so hopefully That's the voice be acting isn't horrible. Um, God, I sound like a pretentious anime nerd, even though, like, Ooh, you're such a new taku. Oh, <laughs> I've only I've only watched like five animes. I've watched way more than you. I, I'm I'm yeah, like in terms of that, I'm way more yeah. of an otaku than you um, are. <laughs> So I guess if because I get the people listening have heard about this show before, um, and I encourage you to give it a chance. Come into it with an open mind because the first few episodes it's weird. Like you know, yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. Like I'm sure everyone's familiar with like the magical girl, um, scantily clad, like clothes stereotype. Like everyone knows that. All I, I swear, like when you were saying that, but it's, it's totally deep. like it's totally like that in the beginning. But then it'll it'll break your expectations later on. I swear, like the only thing that you that like it turns anyone, that entire stere stereotype on its head. The only, thing, the only thing they heard was just scantily clad girls, and then then yep. they're like, <gasps> now I have something I can jerk off to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any anything else you guys have to say before we sign off? Um, Nope, I'm good. Okay, what about you, Steven? I'm good. Okay. So, guys, without further ado, I'm Seth the Dead. This is Ben Smoke. This is Lord Reginald Cuthbert. And thanks for listening to our podcast. It's I actually kind of appreciate it, anyone who actually has been watching. And we'll see you guys next Sunday. See ya. Later.
Thank you.